Right, I just wanted to show you the uh, map screen. I thought it was really cool. Right, anyway, so let's continue. So what we need to do is uh, finish off this map, because we've been doing it for a while now. Now, I did go back into it after. And here we are, yes, yeah, so we should be fine. Uh, I'll show you what I did. So I did everything as normal that we've seen. You know, I blocked off this bit here so we can get the power of the repel water. The tsunami came, and then I needed to get over to this other to this other totem here. Now water was running right down here, so I went up to the source. I blocked it off here, so it can't come down here. And then I blocked it off here, so it can't come down here. And then obviously now you can get across here, so everything should be fine. So let's move our little guys over to here, our little villages. And then I should come straight up there. And of course, I think. We can make a start on, you know, vegetation. So it's just, if we can build over to here, there's a lot of, um, a lot of earth over here, so we should be able to get a lot of, what's it called? A lot of vegetation. But anyway, here's a little villagers. Who's this? It's little Tommy. Hello. Little founder of our next village. Here we are. Oh, that's music. This isn't the music. Nope, no music. Right, I think they're all coming. Yeah, there's a lady there. Some men everywhere. Sloshing through the water. There they are. How many's there? One at the moment. Let's continue with. Why can't I pick up water? It's because I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Let's continue with trying to build this up. In fact, they can't do that yet, can they? It is coming, though, the grass. Right, let's watch the foundation, founding of the new village. Okay, all there. Three, four, and five. Ooh. It's a good place for a village. Got a river, river right over there. River is a great way of transporting goods and trade. Yay! Half of the territory is covered in palms, and you have recovered a new story of the tribe. Keep spreading the palms to attract the animals. Nice. Building a village on each totem of the agents has open has opened up the has opened up the passage. Mm. We made a part. Absorb the earth around the lake to empty it and clear the way to the passage. Press X on the passage to send them in there. Good point. Where is it? There it is. Oh, so I've got to get over there. I was heading over there anyway. Right, now do they have repel water? I'm a bit concerned as to... Why this one... I think... Ah, I see. Now the little Tommy over here, he's bringing it over. What was it little Tommy? It's old damn, old little Tommy. He's bringing it over and they could be able to survive as well. Good! Right, so let's focus on bringing the animals back and getting over to this place over here. Now I'm going to build a land bridge over here. Because obviously we need to go over there to get to the exit, but also to spread palms, your palm trees. There we are. So now we should be pretty right with growing up here. Now I'm going to make it look bigger just to just to keep the sea back because water is a bit of a pain in this game. It's one thing I've got about the game. It's not very detailed. Like you can't. It's not very precision. You can't put like, precision into it. Like you have to sort of shove everything at it to make it work. It makes sense. Nice. They've got it soon now. Then they should have. Yes. Okay. That's good. They got the blue blue ring around the totem, which is good. Yes. Yeah, so like you see here, like you can't do it very precision. You have to like just raise it a little bit, little by little bit, and hopefully it turns up something you want. But apart from that, like, as long as you get used to that, it's fine. Like, I love the game. Now we've got a little bring over to here, so they can get over here. Now we need to build up this, so we'll take some earth, just so we've got an exit route. Yeah, we've got some more. And obviously, we're not going to leave this place until we've 100% covered the land. Oh. That's full. 
think we'll be all right now. In fact, it's uh, move that down a little bit so that people can actually get to it. Okay, good stuff. So now they've got a clear exit to the end. Just got to wait for the palms to repopulate our place now. And I don't know if the tsunami wipes it all out. Oh, look at this. They've really taken over this place. Got it all down here as well. In the future, maybe, when they have technologically advanced, they can build like a little dock. A dry dock or wet dock. Oh. Bless the little villagers. Bless them. Um, do like the game. It would be nice to have like a lots more little features to it. Like make it more into like a like Age of Empires or something like that with some of them. No, some of them features. Same sort of design as this one, but you know, it'd be nice with some of them features like having like a more detailed buildings. Like you can customize the village. Maybe that would be quite good. But anyway, that's me. You know, I like to sort of imp not improve games, but think about new ways to put into the games, new things to add to it. That's what I like to do. Right, here comes Tsunami, number three, two, sorry. See if it, what it does to our lovely palms. The territory is almost entirely covered in palms. Migrating animals have found the place to their liking and will stop here. Keep spreading the palms to discover new stories and unlock new challenges. Good. Now that they've stopped here, where are we going to get attacked by uh, this giant wall of water? Commence playing music! Right, Twin Tree Village is secure. Yeah. Okay, moving on to village number two, the River Village. I say River Run, but I think that's a real place. Sort of, we've already taken the name. What about Rivers Hill? It's on a hill. Yeah, I like that. Rivers Hill. There you go, we've got two names of towns now. Right, this one looks pretty safe. Oh, look, he's running! He's running! That's it, that's not too bad. It's only a little bit of water. Completely demolished a. Uh... Oh, there's a planters. It's just planters. Is that it? They're the only animals we've got here now. I don't like that. That's pretty good. Right, what's the damage control? Is it bad? Is the land bridge still intact? Oh, I'm a bit disappointed that it's just, a, it's just the planters. Disappointed at that. Disappointed from dust. Oh well. Oh no, look, it's still there. It's not. They might need a little bit of tweaking. Ooh, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna, I'm gonna play God and uh, create my own little flood. But I want to do is I wanna. Cause they don't seem to be going across this. So if I put it there, it should climb over the top and go over to this bit. In fact, to do this bit here. There we go, and then it should continue to go up to this part here. The entire territory is covered in palms. You have revealed a new story from the memory of the tribe, and the tribe will continue to build statues around the villages. Cool. No, wrong one. All right, now what I want to do is I want to... I want to release the water. Let's help it out a little bit. That's the water. Yeah. Just to release all this like, little lake up here. Got to feed the ocean somehow. But yeah, look, that's good. So that's all done. The only animals here I can see are the planters, which is a shame. In fact, let's look at the memory of the tribe quickly. I'll read this at the end, but... Have we got any new animals here? Oh, right, so it's just the one at the moment, so... I'm guessing there's not actually many planters. There's not any many animals in the game, so which is a bit sad. But there we are. Okay, then. I think we're good to go. So, little Tommy... If you would like to bring your villagers, we will head off to the next area. Okay. There he is. That's a little, little lady. She's always the first to get there. Whoever that old lady is. 
She's the fastest old lady I ever known. I've ever known. Let's see if we can find little Jimmy. Let's see if we can find little Tommy. Nope. 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 There he is. There we are. Head off to the next area then. In fact, we have got everything, haven't we? Yes, we've got everything. That's good. Off to the next place, which is... Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out what it's called when we get there. But it does sound very promising. There we are. Just waiting for you, little Tom. Right, now let's do that. Are we soon to see the ancients? Are they destroyed? Or has the giant wave of time swept them all away? Mm. That's what I was going to say. It's a bit like a Stargate, isn't it? With the ancients. Are the ancients, are they called the ancients? They were the ancients, weren't they? It's been a while since I've watched that. Mm. Are we going to see some sort of space age technology with stargates and everything like that next? I mean, it seems perfect. <gasps> Maybe that's what the portals are. The first power. Once again, only vestiges of the ancients remain. In the midst of the raging elements, they raised a high wall. But it has endured the mighty onslaught of the sea. What remains of it today? I can't read it, it's too fast. I have to read it back, I think. Right, okay, so what we got? We've got tsunamis coming in. Build your first village, let's do that then. Whoa! 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 What was that? Oh, I see a volcano. Right, build Twin Tree Village. Found it again. For the third time. There we go. The third incantation. Or reincarnation of the Twin Tree Village. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a tsunami coming in. We need to repel water. We need to repel water. The illuminated totem contains an ancient and very mighty power of the breath, but the endless tsunamis prevent the founding of a village. Use the lava to rebuild the wall of the ancients. Oh! So now we can control water. So let's do that quickly. There doesn't seem to be a repel water. Oh, there is a repel water there. Right, okay, but what's this though? Oh, we got lava! Right, okay, but one question. Where is the Wall of the Ancients? Like, where is this Wall of the Ancients supposed to be? Over here? I don't quite get how to work for your lava. I see, but that works. Right, okay, so I don't know. I didn't know where the... Oh, wait, what does that say? The lava pours from the womb of the world. Hmm. That's what I do. You can release everything contained in the breath by your. Oh wow! So if we hold down both at the same time, it'll drop it all. Oh! It doesn't work. Yes, it does. It doesn't work very well. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Oh dear. It's very volatile, this place. Quick, back to the volcano. How do we get into that world view? There we go. Oh, look, what's this? Must be the actual volcano. Right, so let's zoom in. There we go. So I'm assuming this is what we've got to do. It's, it says rebuild the Wall of the Ancients. It doesn't really tell me where the Wall of the Ancients is, but my village is right there, so I'm guessing this is where we are most at fret by. So if we can just... We've got the base down, so if we just build it up now. We should be alright. Oh dear, it's coming down. Is that going to fret in our village? This work close. This is quite close now. Right, so it doesn't seem to be affected by that. In fact, this doesn't appear to be the right place. Is it 
coming from? Uh oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm a fool. I am a vital fool. Right, well, that makes sense now then. Well, it wasn't very clear. Or was it? I was too busy trying to read the, uh, <laughs> the dialogue that I couldn't actually tell where it is. Right, well, now I know how to do it. I need to build it up here. Does it freeze? It does. Good. Right. So, at least we've got a nice little wall here now, though. In future times, maybe when these people have developed boats, it will protect them from uh, invading people on boats. Like, for example, Vikings. These people shouldn't have any trouble with them. I don't know how high we've got to go. Right, let's use this one here. Is it fully up? Is it built up? There we go, now it is. Okay, let's take this ball of lava over here. Continue on. Right, now that I know what I'm doing. Sorry it took me so long to figure it out. Growing up, there we go. That should be high enough now. I would, love, I would ideally like to check it before we actually get on with it, if that makes sense. This laugh is very... It's very ominous, isn't it? It's like pours out everywhere. I didn't know lava did that. Okay, we go then. So, we've got a power here, shellified water, so what does that do? Okay, a bit higher, I think one more. One more big load, I think. It's good because we've got 30 seconds left until the second tsunami. Then we'll be able to see if we're safe. There we go. That should be plenty of fine. Let's go over here and just just top up this one here. Right now, it should be safe. So while we're doing that, we will see. Look at that. That will that will help protect our people. Like in future times. See, that's the way I look at it. I get invested in this. Like in the future, that yeah, with the with the boats, it will stop from raiding, raiding for, raiding what they called, raiding. Oh, I don't know what they called. More raid, more orders, more orders. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, more orders from getting in. No, that's not right. Invaders. Let's go with invaders. It's not quite what I wanted, but it's close enough. Okay. Oh, it needs to be a little bit higher on this side and that side. That's right, we can do that. Oh, lava pours out from the womb of the earth. Deposit lava whenever you want to erect a wall of rock. Right, okay. Bit. Well, I don't think I need to do this bit here, but I need to make sure that it doesn't come over at all. This game, I think, safety is key, or paramount. There we go. Right. Is it here it came through? I might have to wait until the next one to make sure it's safe, because I don't know if it is. It definitely looks safe. Well, I would say it wouldn't come over that, but... Who knows? Right, we will uh, do the Memories of the Tribe soon. Let's build this wall a little bit more. Right, that must be safe. They ain't going to get over that. Yeah. Oh dear, I don't like that. It's very scary. There we 
go. So how do the ancients build? Oh, I suppose it's the same way, don't they? Right, so that should be safe. But we'll read off the memories of the tribe and then we'll see what happens next time. Okay, so the journey. Oh, yeah, just so you know, I'm going to read off the memories of the tribe now, so it might be boring if you don't want to watch it. You don't have to. I'll see you next time, then. Right, the journey. Knowledge. Is that right? Yeah, knowledge in the last one. Knowledge. The ancients knew that the men disappeared over time. While the knowledge they gained on their journey had to be preserved, this is why they engraved the undulations of the music of knowledge on the stones. The stones of knowledge possess a specific form of protection. A member of the tribe must retrieve those for a village. Once this man has obtained this knowledge, he paints it on a kite and returns home. The knowledge thus takes effect. Each village can share the knowledge they possess with the other villages by sending forth a man. The totems. When the ancients would leave one place for another, all trace of them became lost, so they erected totems to echo the breath of the tribe. This is why the power of the ancients take the form of a totem. A totem bears witness to the passage of a tribe through a location. It is all that remains when a village disappears and marks the spot where a new village may be rebuilt. It may be submerged by water or lava. Sometimes it becomes possible for men to move a totem. <gasps> Ooh. Territories. So it must be this one. Roar of the sea. The ancients came to the coast in the hopes of harnessing the breath of water. The music of the lakes and the sources was too weak for their ears. They moved to the seaside. The better they hear it. There the music was louder, so loud that it rose to its maximum height and nearly swallowed their village. The ancients also engraved the knowledge of water on a stone. By deciphering it, their future tribes could protect themselves. Is that the last one? That's the last one. All right, then.